Hi there, it's Samir with Engadget, and this here is the long-awaited Pebble watch. This is the final production unit. This is an orange one. It also comes in red, in black, in gray, and in white with a white band. Uh, it's got an e-paper display, as you can see here, um, and uh, it's backlit. If you tap here, it lights up. Uh, there's an accelerometer built in and a compass built in, and of course, Bluetooth 4.0 uh, LE, which is the, uh, the, the efficient uh, Bluetooth. It runs for an entire week on a charge. And it's water resistant to five atmospheres, which is quite deep. So you can pretty much a shower with this. You can uh, use it in the hot tub, you, you know, and take a bath, you can wash your dishes, you can be in the rain, you can be in the mud. Um, it's made of uh, polycarbonate gl uh, glass. Well, it's not glass, it's polycarbonate. Uh, so it's pretty shock proof and, and very strong. Uh, it uses a standard uh, wrist band, so you can use any standard watch band that you want. Uh, as you can see, this is the one that comes with it. It's a uh, default uh, black. Um, I'll walk you around the watch on a separate one that I'm not wearing. What I wanted to show you right now is some of the UI. There's three buttons here and one button on the left. On the right hand side you have, um, first let's go back, there's a back button on the left. And that brings up this menu and then the left, the top and bot bottom buttons basically let you navigate the UI and then you can select things like that. Uh, going back, I press this uh, left button again. As you can see, the animations are super smooth. And this is, um, again, e-paper, what you're looking at here. So when it stopped an uh, refreshing, like right now, it's not using any power at all, which is really, really impressive. So as you can see, these are a bunch of watch faces. Um, and, and each watch face is really an application. When you see tic-tac-toe here, this is actually not a game. Um, it's, a, uh, it's an animation. And uh, music allows you to control a uh, Bluetooth device uh, via um, the uh, remote control protocol for Bluetooth. And I'll show you that in a second. So uh, let me show you some different watch faces. You saw the different, the, different, uh, the, the original one, this one. Uh, if I go back, I can show you another one here. Um, not the most exciting one, this one. Here's a kind of traditional watch face. You can see the date as well. And uh, let's see, we got, this is the alarm. So you can set alarms, of course. Um, and the, the settings, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, so this is just a getting started. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's trying to pair, so I'm going to cancel pairing, yes. Um, and then there's more watch faces here. There's a very nice traditional uh, one as well. The tic-tac-toe watch. So it plays tic-tac-toe as it, as it counts. And uh, here, it's binary. If you're a nerd, you'll know how to read this. It's pretty awesome. This one's kind of like, looks like quick time. And finally here. This one is probably going to be my favorite because I'm slightly blind, so I'll be able to just glance at it really easily. And uh, I'm not sure what I just did there. Digital watch. It's probably just a, a sample test app. Um, so um, what I was going to show you is in the settings here, you can go and pair a bunch of Bluetooth devices. And as you can see here, I've got an iPod Touch and a couple other devices paired up. Um, and uh, sorry, my fingers are all tired. And then uh, you can um, go in the settings here, and of course you're going to try pairing. And you turn it on and off, and um, go back. Um, here you can obviously set the date and time. As you can see, the, the menu is very intuitive. You can change things and, and select. I'm going to go back, I don't want to change any of the settings. Uh, some display settings here. And of course, you know, about, shut down, factory reset, if you really want to do that. Um, and then, you know, quickly uh, showing the alarm clock right here. So you can create a new alarm, etc. So it's very intuitive UI, as you can see, very well uh, designed, very smooth. So now let me show you something. I've got um, an iPod Touch over here. I'm just going to pull it out. And um, as you can see, it's running the Pebble, the Pebble app. Um, and I'll show you what the Pebble app looks like. It's right there. So there it is. And now what I can do is, um, I'm, not, I'm going to bring that back out in a second. I just want to control the watch and go back into music and show you the music playback functionality. So this watch is paired with this iPhone Touch, um, iPod Touch. 
And uh, as you can see here, you know, I can select some watch faces and, and push them. If I, if I tap on here, it'll push them back, which is kind of cool. And, um, you know, you can uh, see notifications. I'll show you that on the other watch. Um, so that's their app, essentially. Uh, and as you can see now, so I can have this docked somewhere or uh, in my, you know, in somewhere in the apartment or, or whatever. And it'll start playing music um, as soon as I hit play. And as you can see, I mean, if I go into iTunes now, the music app, and then now playing, you see, it's playing. So um, I'm just going to put it down here. And so it's very responsive, as you can see. And next track. not a lot of album art here and I think we're done the playlist so if I hit play I don't know what it's gonna do it's gonna play something and uh, so you can fully control uh, a an, I, an iOS or an Android device like this um, this is not specifically designed to work with iOS it, it also will work with Android um, there's a vibration motor in here as well and uh, you, when you get a notification, let me sh let me show you that on um, on this second watch we have here. So this is uh, I'm gonna before I show you the notifications, I'm going to show you a little bit around. So um, that back button, as you can see, is right here, and here um, is, a, is a magnetic connector, very similar to the MagSafe on on uh, on uh, the uh, Mac the MacBook Pros. So like this is what it looks like on the USB cable, and it just latches on and as you can see this is how you charge the watch once a week or so since the battery life is insane it's a standard USB cable at the other end um, as you can see here and so you know just pop it off and this makes it water resistant obviously there's no way anything can get in there on the uh, right um, right hand side you have these three buttons so the select and the back and the uh, sorry select and the next and previous buttons and this is the back of the watch, as you can see, it has a kind of a nice uh, pebble uh, embossment, and it's uh, completely sealed and glued shut. And here you can see the standard watch band, uh, how it uh, attaches. And um, now, um, if I get a notification, you'll see it pop up. And there you go. So that's a sample notification. It's being sent by uh, an Android device right now that's off camera. And as you can see, it briefly lit up. You didn't feel it, but I did. It vibrated in my hands. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, that's a cool thing. And I can tap and look at it again. And I can, uh, you know, there's actions I can perform on that. I can go back or I can acknowledge. Uh, other things, uh, so notifications it gets are SMSs, emails. Uh, it can receive uh, iMessages on, Android, on iOS. Um, and, uh, you know, they're working, obviously, on, on supporting a bunch of other uh, notifications. Uh, as well um, so this watch is going to be uh, it's going to be announced uh, today that this uh, this watch ships uh, now to the the, the original um, uh, Kickstarter backers on January 23rd starts shipping so this is you know the final the final version of the pebble watch uh, let me show you one more thing before before we wrap it up I have here um, the original packaging that's going to come in and this is the white watch uh, this is non-functional, so I can't show it to you, but it's a very similar design to the Amazon. Uh, this is actually not an, a sealed box, but so it'll be glued shut right here. And just like um, the Amazon Kindle, you'll be able to rip it open, and then you will be able to see what's inside. And this is basically what it comes with. It's a very, very simple packaging. You got the watch and that special magnetic latch cable. And to get started, uh, go to uh, to that uh, URL. It's uh, absolutely ultra bulletproof, simple, and very very beautiful packaging, and, and a very very witty, witty little it's time up here. And there's Meet Pebble, and it tells you what you uh, what it supports, um, an Android, uh, anything from gingerbread up, and of course a whole bunch of iOS devices. So that's it in a nutshell. The uh, Pebble is actually now a shipping product, uh, and this is very, very exciting. Uh, it's beautiful. It's, it, it's very light. It weighs uh, 38.2 grams. It's like 1.35 ounces. I uh, barely notice it's on your hand. You can sweat. You don't have to worry about any 
moisture or anything like that. Uh, nice strong polycarbonate uh, cover um, and it's um, you know pretty pretty shockproof in that sense. So there you have it, the Pebble here at CS 2013. Um, it's medium drawer.